Today I'm going to go over the reverberation time calculation and how to use our reverberation time calculator to get an estimate of what the reverb time is in your room and um, a good idea of what you'll need to do to um, get your reverb time down to um, a good level for what you need to accomplish. So, uh, to start off, this is um, all based on an empirical formula of reverberation time, which is 0 0.16 V divided by A, where V is the volume of the room, and A is the total absorption of the room. Um, so that's a little idea of how we calculate all this, and um, I'm going to go through the Excel spreadsheet and show you how you can calculate it for your room. Okay. So here's the actual calculator sheet and we'll just use a sample room size. The average room, um, the average bedroom is about 11 feet by 12 feet and 10 foot ceilings. So you put in the uh, just those three measurements and it'll actually assign um, your floor ceiling and your walls and then over here you'll want to start choosing the materials so for the floor we're gonna go ahead and choose hardwood flooring and you can see that there's also a linoleum option carpet concrete if you happen to be in a basement or something but for this, um, we're going to choose hardwood flooring. And then for the ceiling and the walls, since 90% of the stuff that we deal with and 90% of the stuff out there, or even more, is going to be made out of gypsum wall board, which is your standard drywall. So we're going to leave those selected as drywall. And then the next thing we're going to do is moved down here to um, the input section for any windows, doors, any rugs or anything like that that you might have. Um, so the first thing we're going to add on the floor is an area rug. We'll do a three foot by five foot area rug and we'll just do a thick area rug with no pad under it. All right, and then the next thing we're gonna do is add two windows in the room. And we'll do one on this wall, and it's gonna be a two foot by three foot window. And we're gonna choose glass here. And then we'll add another one <clears throat> on wall number three two foot by three foot window glass all right and there's also gonna be an entrance door and then a door for a closet so here we'll do three foot wide six and a half foot tall door and it's gonna be a wooden door we can just go ahead and choose plywood and then on this fourth wall, we'll do the same thing. Three by 6.5. And it's going to be wood. Here we go. All right, so we have our room dimensions, our room materials. Then we have our area rug our two windows and our two doors and their materials. Now down here, it's going to tell you the total absorption of the room, the volume of the room, and then T60 in seconds. This is your reverberation time. So the estimated reverberation time for this room is 1.16 seconds. General rule of thumb for anything like a recording studio or podcasting or anything where um, good speech clarity is required, you want to have a 
0.5 seconds or lower reverberation time. So this chart down here is going to give you an idea of how much um, coverage for acoustical panels you might need. So for um, this room, the three inch thick, it looks like you could get 101 four inch thick, 94, two inch thick, 116, one inch thick, 189. Well, let's just say we sell them in 40, uh, the bulk ones are in 48 packs, so let's say we want to get two 48 packs of the four inch thick panels. Another thing you can do here is see what difference adding the acoustic panels will make on your room. So, um, We'll do on two on one wall. We'll do an eight by six section of, of panels, which will be forty eight square foot, and then on another wall, we'll do the same eight by six um, thing of panels, which will be another forty eight square feet. So we'll do eight by six, and then choose four inch acoustic foam and then we'll also go to wall three and do another eight by six and choose the four inch wedge so you can see that by adding the absorption onto two of the walls it brought the total absorption of the room down and brings your T60 down to 0 0.5 seconds which is right where you want to be. So um, that was just a quick tutorial just wanted to show you guys how this reverb calculator works. If you have any questions you can uh, send us a message support at soundassured.com or you can go to our website and fill out the contact form um, yeah, any questions you have, just let us know. We're glad to help. Um, hope you have a good day. Bye.